folklore is all about difference. You're the, the, the stories, the traditions that are shared in my family are our property. They distinguish us as a family. Yeah, it's a family in which a lot of people have great stories about each other, separating our identity from other people's identity. So all over the world, folklore is about difference. The study of folklore, therefore, is about how people negotiate those differences. Since World War II, the displaced person has been the principal, the, 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 the poster child for all of humanity. People are being pushed and shoved around all over the world. We now have two million people displaced in Syria. Um, the, in those situations of, de, of uh, disturbance, of forced migration, forced movement, folklore gets generated a lot. Uh, partly in response to the sense of being oppressed, partly in the, in the desire to maintain an identity in an oppressed situation against the forces of, around you. <clears throat> so what's, what is interesting here is the way in which people, people's creativity emerges uh, to, to manifest diversity. That's putting it very abstractly, but the history of all of that is this. I belong to a tradition that goes back to antiquity. You start, it starts at least with Herodotus, if not before, that says that you understand everything important about humanity if you pay attention to the evolution and the maintenance of ethnographic diversity, the diversity of peoples as they define themselves. And so folklore is not about looking for universal patterns of wisdom around the world. <clears throat> there are plenty of people who want to look at it that way, but that is not what I do. What I do is I, I'm, I'm looking at the cultural products of particular peoples who exist in particular historical circumstances and who are manifesting their own artist artistry, in my case, the artistry of the word, but it could also be house types, it could also be costume, it could also be cookery and so on. They're manifesting their creativity in the face of whatever differences are around them. And to my mind, <laughs> in the 21st century, difference and diversity are pressing down on everybody. I place a value on the humanities because they are about what is important to human beings. That is, what I want to look at is why people find certain kinds of activity or certain kinds of creation important to them, what makes it uh, meaningful to them. <clears throat> and that's what the humanities are about, whether it's art or music or philosophy or literature, all of those kinds of study, all of those, are, or those approaches to human beings are about the values that human beings have and the way that they express them. Uh, that's particularly true for folklore in, in the kinds of work that I've been doing in, in words, but also it's true of folk music and, and uh, costume and cookery and architecture and so on. The humanities are collectively our way of understanding what's important to people. Thank you.